dooby doo do 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 mixing with fresh bum 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 and making in the night song about like people meeting up and sucking dick for coke i seen it fresh why do you have to bring that up and within the first two minutes of the show i'm just i'm just saying you were you were you were you were doing dooby dooby doo version and the first thing that popped in my brain that's it that's what I was thinking about when I was singing it, actually. <laughs> All right, see? You see? Strangers in the night. <laughs> I don't even know where that comes from, but... I don't know. It's just been in my head all year. It's been in my head all year, that song. Passing glances, lovers at first sight. Mm. Mm. Yeah, no, uh, I've had uh, Money Talks by ACDC in my head for a couple days now. Have you? I've tried, I've tried to listen, listen it out. But that song's so fucking good that you just, you just keep going. Like, if you man, I, should, I, should, I, I really shouldn't hit replay on this because I just tipped a chair over in the middle of my office, but I'm totally going to do it. If you uh, want to get that out of your head, all you have to do is listen to Rip Trippers rap, and then it's just everything else in your life goes away. That's the only thing there. I actually, I, to get that out of my head, I actually listened to DJ LSB's Sweet, Sweet Tones. When he, uh, when he uh, responded to Rip Trippers. Yeah. I, I thought that was fantastic. I, I actually go to sleep listening to that. Just, you know, I like to pretend I, I grab a, pedal, a, a pillow and I pretend it's DJ. It's nowhere near as firm as DJ, but, you know, you could you can pretend. He's a fill-in. Yeah, the pillow's just a fill-in for the real DJ. Yep. Hopefully he gets to come to a couple of the conventions that I'm going to go to. Then I, then ECC I, yeah. in California. I know I don't get to go to that one, but I can totally. If he's in Houston, I could totally snuggle him. Yeah. All right. Well, speaking of DJ snuggling, let's uh, have the DJ play this song, shall we? from the kitchen lesson 30 who would have thought fresh 30 freaking episodes or lessons or school days what's 30, up man 30 lessons later here we are here we are still Do you kicking think we're, you think we're 30 uh better than we were 30 ago oh we... yeah absolutely absolutely all the little all the little tips and tricks that you pick up you know just you know because even even you know even a brand new person might discover something that you're not aware of and you know they just let that that knowledge slip out there in the comments and I'm making a note and totally stealing it. Like, yeah, I came up with that. How's your status doing with l learning like this far deep into it? Do you find yourself that it's just like exposure to flavors and that's just the learning that you do, the mix, the more mixes, the better you get? Um, yeah, I mean, learning what learning what different notes out of different flavors you can pull. That's that's really where I'm at as far as my, my education in DIY goes. Like I, I learn I learn new new tricks all the time, you know, listening to Wayne's podcasts, you know, reading his articles, you know, it's uh, all the people in the Fresh from the Kitchen group, you know, they're like, yeah, I did this. And you ask them, hey, why is this flavor in there? And they let slip a, they let slip a little secret. Next thing you know, it's in 20 different recipes and it's taken over the world and it's amazing. It's funny looking at like, uh, like I go to all the flavors a lot and I'll start to yeah. look at like different individual flavors and then see how many recipes or that flavor has and you can just see the flavors that hit and what the flavors that people got you know what i yeah. mean and they have a timeline too so you can sort of see when they hit and you can yeah. see like when the flavor was released you can see when it became popular and then if you start cross uh referencing recipes that are popular in the diy community with those or e-liquids that hit the market there's a yeah. there's a, there's an interesting thing like a good donut flavor will release and all of a sudden on two weeks later all these fucking donut flavors are coming out in stores all the time. So. Yep. 
Yeah, it's yeah, it's like clockwork. It's 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 actually that that feature over on all the flavors is a lot of fun. Like, okay, well, Jungle Flavors are released sweet rice here, and here's where Wayne released this recipe. All of a sudden, you can't get sweet rice anymore. Okay, and it's back. <laughs> yep, it's really fascinating, man. It's it's way deeper than I anticipated it would be, but it's also more untouched than I thought it would be. Yeah. Like the depth of this industry is it, it, it's not as deep as I thought. It's new. It's a new, you know, industry and there's so many undiscovered flavor combinations out there that are just waiting to have you get your fingers into and just <laughs> You know what I mean? Just Yeah. Yeah. Um like this weekend I had a slash a on my DIY show and he's been working on a lime coconut tobacco. And that combination did not appeal to me at all. Yet when I mixed his recipe up, I'm like, "Dagum, that's tasty as hell." I'm I'm always like uh, struggling with. I, there's two different sides of me. Okay, there's the part of me that wants sort of some sort of the flavor profile in the name of an e-liquid. Mm -hmm. Like I like to get something that has like strawberry cream dream or strawberry cream this or peach colada or peach dream this. I don't want like Bill's rubber shoe. You know what I mean? And have it be like, you know, maybe Bill tripped on a rubber shoe when he thought of this unique recipe and I got to find the website and read the flavor profile to understand it. At the <laughs> same time, I think a good mix is a good mix and people will find out what it is once it's out on the market. You know what I mean? Exactly. So, yeah. I agree, Jason Zastro. Slash, uh, slash is awesome. I'm glad he decided to join us on the Saturday show. Amazing mixer. A lavender peanut butter ice cream. Who would have thought of that? I'm actually mixing a peanut butter custard for Mark Fagan. He's uh, requested that from me. Excellent. So that's my next task after I work on the ones I'm working on. I was going to say, what sort of notes are you going to sneak in there? Are you going to sneak a vegetable in on him? Of course. I'm thinking uh, a little bit of um, that wildflower flavor that we were talking about earlier. Oh, the elderflower. Yeah, elderflower. I don't even know what it is, but Mark's getting it. Nice. Little toilet. Could, uh, little some of the, the uh, lova, uh, lova, uh, lovage root. Mm -hmm. I, I always want to say lovage. But it's it's lovage root. It, uh, it tastes like celery. You could slip a little celery peanut butter custard in on Mark Bagan. Well, peanut butter and celery go really well together. Cream cheese Thank goes you. well with celery, too. Yeah. Get the get a stalk of celery, fill it with peanut butter, put some, put some uh, raisins on the top. Yep. So that's a great healthy snack. Yep. Call it ants on a log. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> yes, ma'am. Uh, Stars and Clouds Creative said 10% flavor art brie for him. Or uh, flavora brie. Flavora brie cheese? Yeah. I have not I have not found a use for that yet. We're working on it, though, aren't we? Yeah, I'll find something to do with it. I thought it was going to work in a cheesecake. It does not work in a cheesecake. When the when the when my big box of Flavora flavors came in, that's one of the first things I went digging for was the brie cheese to try it in a cheesecake because I thought, you know, it's got that nice nip to it and it might work. It might work to help, you know, work. It'll it'll help with the layering of the cheesecake that way I don't have to layer in so many cheesecake flavors and creams to get the cheesecake that I want. And Sure enough, it didn't work. It didn't work the way I was hoping. So now I'm thinking of like lovely brie cheese, things that go with brie cheese, like brie cheese and apples. That's always a great combination. What about making like a mix called the cheese plate? And it could be like nice like uh, fruits and jam spreads and like light cracker. You know what I mean? Like make nice. something like that. That might work actually. Maybe a little yeah. wine, a little wine flavor in there. I've got wine Merlot. We could do it. I mean, Merlot and Brie goes really nicely together. Hmm. Hmm. I'm thinking Dude. maybe we should have like a, a show where we make the most preposterous shit ever, but it has to be <laughs> pre prepped and the yeah. flavors don't seem to go together, but in the end, it's actually something that's vapable. That might be fun. If you ever need to know if a flavor will work, <laughs> the Flavor Bible, baby. There's also flavor an app Bible. for that. It's it's right over here next to the mixing station. Yep. So tonight, 
is all about the tropics. And when I think tropics, and I'm not, I've only been to the Caribbean like twice in my life maybe, but I think strawberry daiquiris, pina coladas, mixed fruity drinks, some alcoholic beverages, but I don't drink. So I'm not like a huge booze fan in my vape, yeah. you know? Um, so I'm going to go either. bourbon. I don't drink either, so. Yeah, I don't even like the flavor. Like I don't like, the only thing I like the flavor of booze in is like tiramisu. I actually mm. think that accent adds to the, the experience. Um, but as far as like tonight, I'm going to make a real simple pina colada. And um, uh, you're going to make something. Well, That's we're going to talk about ice. flavors first. Sour soft ice cream. Yes. Sour soft ice cream. There you go. That's what I'm. That's the recipe I'm working on. It was the so, video I was going to shoot last night, but then I got busy organizing flavors and looked up and it was way too late to shoot a video. You ran out of time, man. Yeah. Life, That's what life we, happens to you. We, we were chatting before the show about one of the most important features, I think, of when you get into DIYing. And probably one of the hardest things time management-wise, because I'm also lazy and I don't prioritize it in my schedule, is to organize flavors. Mm -hmm. How do you organize it? Where do you put them? Where do you store them? How are you going to remember where to find the flavor, especially when you get up into the multiple hundreds of flavorings? Um, yes. It becomes a real freaking chore. And as you can see behind me... I haven't really gotten to the bottom of it yet. <laughs> I'm still well, working on it. This right, this right, this over here is is essentially the way I like it. It's a little bit of organized chaos, but I'm aware of the general area where things are. So I can I can go and usually pick up four or five flavors, and I'll find the one that I'm looking for. Um, the flavor ones are in a in a special box, all organized alphabetically. I found out I'm missing one of the flavors that I wanted, so I'm working around it. What are you going to use instead? What did you? What are you missing, and what are you going to use? I'm missing ginger, just the straight flavor of ginger. I'm not sure. I'm not sure if I didn't get it or if it's. It's definitely not around anywhere. <laughs> it's definitely not around in my house anywhere. So, um, what I'm going to use ginger snap, and I'm actually going to add a little bit of a cookie note to the ice cream. And I'm hoping that the spiciness, if the spiciness isn't enough. I can always throw in a little biscuit by Inawera, and that's got a little bit of a ginger back note to it. So, I, like I said, you can all you can always work around you can always work around everything. It's just yeah. a matter just a matter of being determined and, and thinking thinking the process through. Yeah, somebody just said you want to alpha alpha, and I agree with this. Is what I've started doing is alphabetized by a manufacturer and then yeah, then by flavor. Yeah just makes it easier i've started using when i'm mixing like when i'm traveling to and fro picking up flavors and also when i'm mixing i have these little bins yeah so I, so i have like when i go grab my flavors for one recipe i'll have this and i'll have all the flavors in there and then each one that i use i put in this so i know that i used it already and then i just yeah. carry this back over there and then put everything back i've actually got a, a little black tote bag that i use similar the when I set it down in front of me, the flavors that I haven't used are over here on the left. And when I'm done with them, I put them on the right. So, um, the, other, the other thing I recommend, I got this from Ikea, I believe, but it was pretty cheap. And I think we've showed this once before, but it really is helpful, especially for those that don't like lifting a lot. But this is a three-tiered steel cart with nice wheels on it that are sort of soft and uh, you can roll it around easily. But yeah. this thing is awesome for moving around, storing your keyboard and rubber gloves and use condoms and all kinds of different stuff. It's really easy to use. So. Nice. Yeah. Oh, and I, I, I look, I happen to look back at the top of my cabinet there and I'm like, do I want to add whipped cream to this? I mean, yeah, I haven't, fuck yeah. I haven't, I, haven't, I, haven't run, shit. I haven't run across a recipe that doesn't get better with a little whipped cream in it. I'm, I'm going to grab it, Brian. I'm grabbing yeah, it. grab it. Grab it fresh. I'm gonna spend time alone with you. <laughs> um, yeah, so for my recipe, I'm thinking, this week's been all about unpacking these Flavora bags. And for those that don't know, Flavora sent us like every one of their flavors. So I got rows and rows and rows to go through. And I don't like to half-ass testing flavors. I like to truly like taste them and make samples of them and everything. So it's been a lot of work. And you guys know I do reviews and I have 
a whole bunch of other stuff going on in my life that I just don't have 100 hours a week to put into DIY. Uh, but slowly but surely, I'm getting through some of it, and I'm, I'm, it's even hard to organize them, let alone make flavor samples. But tonight, I'm going to uh, play around with a little bit of coconut from Flavora, a little bit of coconut, and okay. uh, I'm also going to use a little bit of the sweet coconut. So I got some sweet coconut from Flavora. And I'm also going to use a little bit of milk. And actually fresh, Yeah. I, we, we decided on the cream. I'm going to use the cream instead of the milk. The milk has that like sour milk smell, which is actually really useful in certain recipes. But I'm going to make this like a real sweet pina colada. Um, and we also have some pineapple here. Yes. So yeah. Is that Flavora pineapple or golden pineapple? It's Flavora pineapple. Should I okay. use golden pineapple, you think? Um, golden pineapple is a milder, it's a milder version of a pineapple. It does, it, it's not all that strong, so you do wind up using more of it. Um, that's closer to a fresh pineapple, that Flavora pineapple. It's really I good. Like it. I've been enjoying that. I've been enjoying that a lot. I would like fresh coconuts, fresh, uh, fresh coconut, fresh cream. I want a fresh daiquiri. Yeah. Yeah. But Let's yeah, I've been, you know, the, the fruit flavors, the, the tropical fruit flavors have never really been my deal. Um, never really. I, I, I usually go after a tropical recipe when someone asks me to. And I don't I don't enjoy them all that much, but I've been enjoying a lot of these uh, flavor ones. But like for mango, I've got, I've always used the uh, the flavor art mango. It's suit. It's incredibly strong, and it tastes like soap for the first couple of days. But then it it mellows out, and it's a it's a really really solid flavor. Um, as far as pineapple goes, I've been a big fan of that uh, the golden pineapple. If I'm going to do something in a recipe, uh, but I I mean ever since I got these these flavor the flavor of flavors, and I've been using a lot more. They they seem to have their tropicals nailed down. They've got several different several different genres definitely nailed down but tropicals is, is for sure one of them um the sour sop that i've been using it's it's excellent excellent flavor uh, the guanabana i know is she out there is leilani out there there she is she says sour sop and guanabana are the same thing they might be the same thing but the flavors are different <laughs> uh they have a couple really nice coconuts a couple of really really nice coconuts I'm sorry, Fresh. Hmm. <laughs> I was just okay. apologizing for things, man. I'm sorry, man. Okay. Now, there's chat, people in chat were asking, everyone's been asking about the update about the flavors I got from one on one, the strawberry shortcake. Yeah. And we're in the middle of the show. So, right now, let's just say this when I have a final answer about it, I will definitely let you guys know. I do have some information, but we're still piecing things together. But I have not forgotten about it. You guys are on the top of my mind. Actually, I got Leilani involved. So, she's totally helping out and uh, there's a few people in the process so we're, we're working on it once i get to the bottom of it it'll be um an answer to the great strawberry shortcake uh mystery of 2017 so there you go i i can i can tell you it's got to be two different flavors or a bad batch one of the two i i think that's, a, that's I, an odd thing because they're strawberries their strawberries not bad either i think one-on-one -on -one strawberry shortcake is not the strawberry shortcake that i got and loved that's what i think you think it's somebody else's strawberry shortcake? I think it's someone else's strawberry shortcake. Leilani ordered six strawberry shortcakes from DIY Vapor Supply today. Yeah. And uh, she's going to try each one, and we're gonna she's going to drop them off here. I'm going to smell each one and find out if they might have mixed up a batch or something like that. Interesting. I've had five people send one-on-one -on -one strawberry shortcakes. Some people bought it two months ago, three months ago, four months ago. And yeah. all four samples that were given to me were tasted like the sample I got from one-on-one. -on -one. That does not taste like the awesome one that I got from DIY Vapor Supply of 101 Strawberry Shortcake, which leads me to believe, since they repacked it, there's probably some some change there. And I did the I did and I got mine directly from the uh, from one on one, and it was excellent. Excellent might be, but this flavor smells like Frankenberry cereal out of the container, and yeah. Leilani smelled it. Everybody smelled it from mine and none of it smells like the one-on-one -on -one that everyone else has so it's different something something's up the problem is is that the thing that i like is not the thing from one-on-one -on -one. it's the one that was repacked and how do i make recipes that i don't know where to get it yeah so 
I'm getting to the bottom of it fresh. I've actually been in touch with one on one. I've also been in touch with DIY Vapor Supply, and they're trying to figure this out so we can all come to a resolution and, and get the flavors that we all want and need. Yes. So What's sorry up, about Zesty? interrupting. What's up, Zesty? Zesty, what up, motherfucker? What's up, Dimlin? Um, so trying to think. Coconut. We were, yeah. Yeah, there's a there's a sweet coconut and a regular coconut by flavor that are they're both really nice. They're both really nice coconuts. Um, I'm still kind of partial to that coconut candy by TFA. It just seems to it seems to work for what I'm looking for out of a coconut. Plus, the ethyl malt all helps me helps me uh, edge out any other tropical flavor or any other overwhelming flavor. Uh, flavors like banana. Banana can be such an overwhelming flavor when you put it into a into a mix. That's why uh, the banana cream from TFA is, is as popular as it is because it's a really mild, really mild banana flavor. And it's a good one. And you can mix it with the banana nut bread and pretty much dial in the banana that you're looking for. Uh, trying to think who else is, what other tropical flavors are there? Um, there's tons of, there's tons. I know I have a list here. I have a list of tropical flavors. Uh, dragon fruit, the dragon fruit by TFA is always popular because it, has a nice juicy note and some sweetness and it, it can really it can really brighten up uh like berry flavors really really nicely uh let's see papaya uh chamois jackfruit jackfruit's an interesting an interesting flavor uh get jackfruit and dragon fruit both if you put them in liquids a lot of times it it'll really change the flavor when you when you pump that wattage up you'll really get like a, a bizarre change to the to the flavor of your liquid which it can actually be kind of nice because you just dial up and down and find what you like. Oranges, oranges. Uh, flavor art, flavor art kind of has the the market on oranges. I found uh, the flavor art orange is is a solid flavor, but it'll crack the hell out of anything that's made of plastic. Uh, but they have a they have a royal orange juice now that's really good. Their blood orange is really good. Uh, Flavor West makes a really nice blood orange. Limes, limes. There's tons of really good limes. Flavor Art, Flavor Art really has limes, limes in their pocket. But the Flavora, I've, I've actually started using this one, the the lime wedge. Mm. Lime wedge. It's it's a it's a it's pretty close to a natural lime. It's it's excellent. Uh, I found that I found out that one on Saturday when I started vaping the coconut. The coconut lime t tobacco. That's that's the cool thing too about having all these different types of like citrus. You know, you have how many different yeah. lemons are there? How many different limes are there? Yeah. Be and just because it's a natural flavor doesn't mean that's what you want in your recipe. It might be no. totally not what you want in your recipe. Yeah, especially so. especially lemon. Yeah. Especially there's so many different types of lemon. You could be looking for that lemonade. Uh, you could be looking for lemon candy. Uh, lemon, lemon zest. You could look in for the ze the the rindy zesty notes. There's, you know, so many different directions you can go with limes, oranges, lemons. But luckily, there's there's kind of a there's kind of a, a flavor for everybody. Uh, v dog, no, not insulators. Insulators are are made of a different. Well, if you got a cheap addy, it might do it. But yeah, it's a. It, the those really high citrus acidic juices those are your tank crackers uh from back in the day when you used to get a lot of like uh um oh what was the plastic they made everything out of uh, it wasn't pmta uh, was it PMTA? i forget yeah, that was pmta but tanks would crack the shit like two years ago. It was a regular yeah. occurrence. Always, always cracking. You had to watch it. You had to watch out for for your liquids. So if you if you've got older tanks like K funds, things like that, you really have to be cautious of what what sort of a liquid you're 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 putting into it, because it'll just it'll just snap that sucker. Polycarbonate. Yeah, that's what they were. There you go. Yeah, the polycarb tanks. Yep. There we go. Addy Tooney, Mark Deshaun, PMMA. There was one company that came out with a tank. They're like, it won't crack. It won't crack. Like within a week later, there was this one e-liquid that cracked every fucking tank, <laughs> and it cracked that too. It was like, you just couldn't defeat that liquid. Yeah, but now they've now they've changed everything up, and most things come with glass, so you don't have to worry about it nearly as much. 
which was a, a great change in the industry. That happened. You, that was a couple of years ago too. Would People you start. consider can, cantaloupe to be tropical? Cantaloupe melons, yeah, yeah. I melons. mean, you can you can do a nice melon mix. Uh, honeydews, your watermelons. Watermelons can be a little rough because they they tend to have a pretty gnarly throat hit. Uh, Are you into the smaller melons or the bigger melons? Uh, I'm more of an ass and leg man myself. Are you? Yeah. Yeah, it could be. Watermelons, watermelons are rough because there's just so much diversity in the watermelon flavorings. Uh, I, yeah. I tried to nail a, a watermelon bubble gum, and I thought it would be easy because I smelled the watermelon, I tasted the watermelon by itself, and then I tasted the bubble gum by itself. Shit, man, I haven't nailed it yet. It's it's yeah. not easy. Yeah, I know uh, Pina Lope, uh, Penelope, she, she nailed that. She nailed a, a watermelon Pina bubble Lope. gum. Pina Lope. Pina Lope, that's right. Pina Lope. That's I was right. just talking to her this morning, actually. Cool gal. Yeah. She's settled. It seems like things are going to be Good. smoother, hopefully, for her. Yes. Oh. Did we miss anything? How about guava? Did you mention guava? Guava? No, I didn't mention guava. How, how much ex how, do you have experience with guava? I haven't I haven't ever used... Like the, like I said, these tropical flavors, they really haven't ever been my deal. They really... I really... I would buy them in, for a mix... And then they would sit on the shelf and gather dust. And if the mix didn't turn out the way I hoped, I would just throw it away. And that would be the that would be the end of it. I'm like, nope, forget this. Because I always get I always get images in my mind of what the e liquid should taste like. And if it doesn't work out exactly as I'm hoping, a lot of times I'm like, no, no, forget you, forget you e liquid. Yeah, you get, you, get, you take it personal. Yeah. You're a sensitive vapor fresh. You have a lot of feelings and emotions, and they translate into your recipes. Passionate, passionate, passionate. about the DIYs. Yeah, we love that. Papaya, about you. Uh, the papaya I've been liking is uh, Flavoras, if I remember correctly. They've got that was that was my favorite even before they sent it to me. Yeah, it was the the papaya punch. Do you want to try my papaya? Try your papaya. <laughs> yeah, they're. <laughs> Yeah, their papaya punch is actually really, really nice. Um, mango, like like I said, the mango mango. I've been using that. I've been using that flavor of mango forever. Anytime anybody asks for mango, I just grab that. But you know, I'm I'm always surprised when somebody when somebody really 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 nails down like a section. And I've been messing with these flavor flavors, and they've been impressing me a lot. Like in flavors that I haven't ever liked before. Yeah, it's it's a little bit overwhelming for me because you've had a lot more years to sort of organize your library of flavors. And for me, I'm still learning all the basics that everybody uses that are a staple of DIY. And at the same time, getting this many flavors has become a little bit overwhelming. But I'm going to use you as my leader, and you're going to guide me through the bedroom into the bed. You're going to put me to sleep. That's yeah. right. Tuck you, tuck you in and, and place my balls on your chin. There we go. That's what yep. we do around here. Right. Uh, why don't we do this? Why don't we get into a little mixing time? Are you ready for that? I'm ready to mix. I'm ready to mix. Yeah, let's mix. Go ahead and just pulling up my recipe here. I need to add the whipped cream, vanilla whipped cream. Yeah. Look at that. Vanilla cream. At the, at the handy dandy 2%. Oh, and I hadn't I hadn't added ginger snap to the recipe yet. I need to figure out where they what's a good percentage for ginger snap. I'm guessing one, but uh ginger snap. Well it depends on I don't know. I don't know the percentages. Like for a lot of these flavor flavors I've been using one percent just as a starting point. That's a that's a good that's a good way to be. Their flavors are, are very concentrated. Oh, it's only a three-star flavor. Why? So maybe I will layer in a bit. Maybe I will layer in biscuit with it. Yeah. Let's see if there anybody wrote a note about it. They did. The middle part of a ginger snap cookie, molasses and ginger. Use more as a layer. The seasonal spice. That's what I'm looking for. I'm looking for that spice. When you started, like, half a percent. Two. 
Everybody's saying two. Two percent? Two percent in a mix. Like I said, they, every once in a while you kind of run across a... You run across an odd one with flavor where it doesn't it doesn't match up with what your the rest of the flavors do. So let's go ahead and throw that. At you. I'll do it 1.5, and then I'll do biscuit at a at a quarter. Hmm. I'm I'm actually bringing up my ELR recipes right now so I can put in my things that I'm going to use here. So I, need to grab, I need to grab biscuit real quick. Do it. Do it. Right there up front, like always. You know you know you were gonna get used. You knew it. You How about you guys it. out in the in the chat? Do you guys enjoy tropical vapes or do you dislike them? Because I personally I'm not a huge fan. But uh I I figured it would be interesting to learn because I do like certain coconut flavors. Like I like a coconut cream pie or a coconut cheesecake. So messing with the coconuts tonight is really what my inspiration for making this is. The biggest issue I'm going to have is, and I think I'm going to make two different versions of the same recipe, is do I add coolant or not? Because we are dealing with a frosty mixed dessert or uh, cold beverage. Ooh. Yes. To freeze or not to freeze fresh? Arctic blast. I say Arctic right. blast it. Yeah, blast the shit out of it? Just blast it. All right. Make one with, make one without. And then see what I prefer? Yeah. You know what's weird? Like, I think sometimes you have to push the boundaries of what your brain tells you you want and find out that maybe you like something else. Exactly. Sort of like how fresh is with men. Um, I just my push flavor, the boundaries on anything that I can. Yeah, you just push. <laughs> That's pretty much what it is, but I got this uh, Tony B blue pucker in the mail today. This is like a a blue raspberry bottom of a slushy flavor. Yeah. And I don't like s sweet type things, you know what I mean? Like uh, candy, iced blue raspberry flavors. But mm -hmm. this thing brought me back to like a time in my life when I used to run after the ice cream man and grab those frozen snow cones from the ice cream truck. Hell yeah. It has that same flavor. So... It was kind of nice, and I've been really enjoying the refreshing taste of this in the summertime. So there you go. Who would have thought? There's a uh, cartoon Tony B. Hey, Tony B. He looks like the younger version of John Hammond from Jurassic Park. He does, kind of. <laughs> Welcome to Sugar Lips. All right. Hmm. Pop that do, recipe back up. Do you have your recipe already made? Yes. You're the man fresh. Why don't you start then, and I'll do my recipe while you're mixing. Cool. So the first thing I'm going to add to the ice cream is vanilla. So vanilla shisha is my go-to vanilla. Um, I've, been, I've got the DIY, DIY Flavor Shack uh, Holy Vanilla. It's very, very nice. Uh, I still prefer this. This stuff is amazing. It's an amazing flavor. The shisha vanilla. So I need half percent, 0 0.15. 0.15, there we go. that add up did tear I'm doing a combination here tonight everybody so biscuit needs to be 0 0.08 grams so that's gonna just be a couple drops here it's gonna add one drop two drops wait for it to catch up three drops ah 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 Four drops. Ah, ah, ah. <laughs> I waited. I waited. There we go. 0 0.08. 0 0.09. 0 0.08. 0 0.09. You know where? Biscuit. Done. Next. Lime wedge. 
I didn't add lime wedge to the recipe, so I do need to go back and add something. We'll save that for last. I also did not add the soursop, because I, because I suck. You fucking suck. That's okay. I'll be okay. Pretty sure they're both going to be at one. <laughs> Fresh, can I ask you a question? Certainly. So when I click on the percentage on ELR, like say I, I put in sweet coconut from Flavor and I put my cursor into the percentage, and it'll yes. say like 0 .33, 0 .25, 7, 2, 0 .5. Is that the last ones that I've used of a flavor, or is that actually the most common percentage? No, that's used? Just, that's just the, that's one of the last things you typed. Oh, uh, okay. That's Thank God I haven't been using that then. <laughs> just autofill. It's just okay. autofill. Uh, ginger snap needs to be 0.45. That is a dark flavor. 0.33. Two, three, three more drops. One, two, three more drops. 0 0.4, 0.4, 0.44. I'll take 0.44. Vanilla bean gelato is 1%. Doing a little vanilla bean gelato, always a good time. Put three mLs. So vanilla bean gelato should be 0 0.03. Next, condensed milk by Perlium. Nice sweet milk flavor. Great flavor here, everybody. Great flavor. If you haven't, if you haven't gone looking for it yet. And so we need 0 0.06. Point zero six two. I will take it. Vanilla bean ice cream is going to be one percent. Vanilla bean ice cream. One percent. No, I did 1.5. Oh, fresh, tricky, tricky. Ooh. Trying to trick myself. Ooh. There we go. <laughs> fresh, wow. trick, fresh. All right. There we go. 0.45, take it. Take it. Take it. Whipped cream is 2%. I can already tell you exactly where that's going to be at. My recipe has 20% vape wizard in it. Nice. Yep. I mean, it's certainly, <laughs> it's certainly a direction to take it. <laughs> I've been definitely I've been bending uh, I've been doing a lot of Harry Potter watching so Vape Wizard's been one of my flavors of choice lately fair enough yep Expelliarmus <laughs> and Guardian Vapioso that's right <laughs> Nevada key lime pie. What? What? You're killing, you're killing someone with a key lime pie. I don't even get it. All right. Mm. 
Now I'm going to add a couple flavors that I didn't have yet. So I will go back up top and say hello to everybody. Hello. Hello, everybody. Hello. And I double clicked on Zoom so it went full screen. Woo! Dude, this flavor smells so damn good out of the bottle. This sweet coconut what? from Flavora. Oh, it's nice, man. It's oh really nice. Oh, my God, nice. it smells good. Amy, shout out to Amy Herb. Uh, I heart you. I heart you, Amy Herb. She sounds like uh, a big loser. The biggest the biggest Mike Bapes fan I know, but I won't hold that against her. I will hold something against her if she asks, though. Don't worry, we won't tell Brian, Amy. We won't tell Brian. I love when my wife teaches a lot of classes at school. She's, she doesn't troll me as much. <laughs> yep. There we go. Soursop by Flavora. Like I said, let's do, I really want that to come through. So we're going to go one point. We're going to do Soursop by Flavora. Really, we're going to do 1.25. There we go. Nice, Jamie. Yeah, that key lime pie is amazing. That was one of those recipes that st I, I stumbled across, made a couple alterations to, and it was it was amazing. Fresh, this is going to be a tester batch for me because these, I mean, these, a lot of times, guys, how you learn about percentages is to make a mix besides reading up on the flavors first. But if you, if you don't have access to a computer or you're just playing around and you want to develop your own skill set, try out a, a mix. And then when you mix it and you taste it, you'll know if the flavor is too strong, if it's too weak, if the flavors play well together, what sticks out in the front, what doesn't, what, what, what do you need to bring forward by adding more percentage and then, and sort of play there. That's what I've been doing a lot. Helps you learn yep. quickly too. Or a lime wedge, half a percent. But if time is uh, an issue, you can also read from other people's experience by just looking at percentage, uh, the average percentage that people use in single flavor recipes versus in multiple flavor recipes on alltheflavors.com. That's where I go. All the flavors is excellent. Yeah, for that. I mean, they're both, they're both excellent. The ELR has been around longer, so generally there's a little bit more depth to the, especially on the common flavors. Um, so we need 0.38, but all the flavors is, I, I, I think it's going to wind up being probably a better platform in the end. I wish there was a free version versus a pay version so that everybody could get in there and, and mess around a lot, but... Take it. Take it. Philip Hicks wants to know, Fresh, do you single flavor test on all of your flavors? Not all of them. Uh, with this Flavora, yes. I, I have been single flavor testing if I'm unfamiliar with them. Just because I got so many, and I want to, I want to, I want to be able to use them as they should, as they should be used, so I can do them justice. There we go. So we are back. I'm done. Hmm, that smells nice. Looks a little funny. That ginger snap is really hanging down there. Fresh? Do you single? Yeah. So, I. When I do, when I get some, especially something like this in, you really don't have a choice but to fl but to flavor test it all, to single flavor test them, because there's so many I'm unfamiliar with. But if something, if I know something's going to be in the, like a like a flavor art flavor, if they get a new one in, if if there's a if there's a good known recipe on it. I'll just go ahead and mix that recipe up. And if I like what it did, I'll make a note to myself in my flavor stash or in my notebook, whatever's handy. 
about what the percentage is and what it did, I'll take it. But some of them you really need to, some of them you really need to check. Uh, the Flavora milk is closer to fresh cream, Addy Tinney. Yes, it is. We talked about that before. It's closer to fresh cream than it is a true milk. Uh, cream milky undertone is closer to milk. Um, it's still not a true milk. It's closer to half and half. But uh, Have you ever heard of steeping a mix without adding your BG? No, Mark. That wouldn't work. Because... If it were, if it did work, then you, if that worked that way, then all of your bottles of concentrate would just be ready to vape right away. Yep. So it's not, it doesn't work. Uh, the steep process is all about oxidizing things and getting things to mix together properly. And so you're not going to, you're not going to wind up with what you're hoping for if you, if you try steeping out a flavor. You're just making yourself a one shot. But I mean, that's a a lot of people do make their own one shots. That way, when they're ready, that way when they're ready for it, it just works. They just dump it in. They know how long they have to steep it. Nice, nice recipe, Stu. <laughs> This recipe I just made tastes like cinnamon red hot coconuts. <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic. Oh, yeah. I just nailed cinnamon red hots with coconut on top. I know what it is. It's it's that sharpness that you get from pineapple. Yeah. That's creating that sensation of cinnamon, but it's not, it's the pineapple. Yeah. And um yeah, that's what it is. Too much pineapple. I don't know. This might be good. I'm kind of feeling... I don't know. You know what? Let me vape this first without the heat. And I'm yeah. sorry, guys. I, I didn't do the eye contact because I'm not committed oh, to this recipe. It? You shook it already? I did. I shook it. I have to touch myself all the time, Fresh. I can't wait. Okay. Let's no, see. I'm going to shake, I'm it. I'm gonna shake it again end, right West now. West End's out there. I got West End. A uh, little Addy Tooney action. A little Ren Ren vapes. little Philip Hicks. A little Jason Zastro. This is for all of you. For all of you. I know it's like, not the same because Brian's not, not shaking along with us, but I am shaking along. I had to take one I had to take care of business before I started to make sure that I had enough later on to keep going. You know what I'm saying? I, I like to believe that I have the stamina to, to take care of all of them though. That's what I like to believe. I've been doing bicycle sprints, Brian. Bicycle sprints, trying to trying to get the weight loss and the uh, the increase in stamina. Yeah. I bicycle at night in my underpants. I mean, it might as well be underpants at some points, depending <laughs> on what your bicycle gear looks like. Some of those bicycle gears are a little bit too revealing for what I'm working with, if you know what I'm saying. I wouldn't confidently walk into a 7-Eleven to get water with one of those outfits on, I'll tell you that. If it's a chilly day, if it's a chilly day out, Brian... Uh, they do make some padded shorts that can cover up the fact that it's a chilly day. If we're not making you uncomfortable, we're not doing our jobs. Isn't that right, Philip Hicks? Philip Hicks is a little frightened. Oh, let's go ahead and switch to the left hand. Let's go to the left hand. The lefty. I just walked in there. the room fresh and I saw Jason and you and I just had to jump on bed. That's right. Jax Miller's here. She's joined in. She's joined Jax, in. Jax, come on over here. That's right. Socrates, pull the cab over and take it out. There we go. That's fucking creamy. As I just shit. caught myself. I just caught myself making an angry face. I'm a little self-conscious because all my all my eye contact faces are angry. You're an angry lover. It's passionate, fresh, and we love that about you. Intensity, intensity. We love it. I'm excited. This smelled wonderful. Let's go ahead and give it a. Let's go ahead and give it the old knuck test. I think you're going to be a selfless lover, if you want to know my opinion. But, ooh, ooh, there we go. Mm. 
That's going to be really nice. Hmm. Hmm. Paint the coils, you must. Actually, that, that ginger snap, the spiciness of the ginger snap and the biscuit are really complementing that sauerkraut. And the lime, the lime's just kind of creeping in there with the cream. Um, Menace, Menace Vapes, uh, Nicotine River at this point is probably your best bet. RTS tapes used to be where I sent everybody, but they went out of business. They might still be open and selling stuff, but I know they're out of DIY kits, DIY starter kits for sure. So, uh, Nicotine River. Uh, I've heard Liquid Barns. I've heard Liquid Barns starter kits are quite nice. Yo, fresh that. That cream, the flavor cream, yeah, with the sweet coconut and the regular coconut. I used uh, one percent of regular coconut, one percent of the the sweet coconut, yeah, and then I also used uh, two percent of the cream, yeah. It's so good, isn't it's it? A really good creamy coconut. Like that would be awesome with the cheesecake. Uh, if you added cheesecake to it, or if you if you added um like pound cake or something like that, it would be so good. Oh, their pound cake is amazing already. But it's got, it's got this very light sweetness. That's not like an overwhelming, super crazy sweet, but it's just pleasurable. It's, it's a creamy sweet. I love yeah, it. That sweet, co that sweet coconut is amazing. Oh, so good. So, so, so good. You guys got to get sweet coconut and regular coconut from Flavor. It's fucking delicious. That you need that lime wedge. That lime wedge is a dream. Everybody lime? needs the lime wedge. Like it's a it's a legit it's a legitimate slice of lime. That's what it tastes like. This cream I like I'm a big fan of the the cold pressed lime tahiti and the regular lime tahiti. I like them both. Flavor cream though for sure. Because mm. it, it borders, it borders right, it borders right between being a like a full-bodied cream and a an uh, vanilla ice cream. Like it just kind, it just kind of sits in between the two, and it's it's so good. It's but creamy, it's not, it's desserty. Not yeah, it's not it's not overwhelming, and it's it's fairly neutral, which means you can you can do a lot to it. Like you're you don't have a lot of you don't have trouble working a flavor into it. It's a little thicker than like a whipped cream. Um. Not thicker. It's it's a little bit uh, less sweet, I guess you could say. I don't know. It's it's really good though. That cream is delicious. Yeah. Mm. So I need a name for a sour sop ice cream. Everybody, remember you you know how this works. The worse the name is, the better. Sour sop how, ice cream. How about s sour soppy seconds? Oh, sour soppy seconds. I, I'm not sure we need to go any further than sour soppy I'm seconds. Uh, never mind. We don't need a name, everybody. Brian just Brian just knocked that one out of the I'm way. sorry. It just popped into my head, and I was thinking about Sloppy Seconds with you and Jason from the earlier time we had together with eye contact, and there you oh, go. Yeah. I love you too, Jax. I love you, even though she wasn't talking to me. Love you, Jax. She was talking to you. Or was I she talking she was. to us? I don't care if she wasn't talking to me. She was talking to me. <laughs> everybody, see, everybody came to the same the same conclusion that I did. Well, Brian won that one. <laughs> sour soppy seconds. <laughs> well, what else could you use like sour sop without sour sloppy? You know, it just works. Oh, I really like how this turned out, though. That sour sop is it's 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 like a banana, a pineapple, and a strawberry, all kind of had a baby. And the strawberry stands out a little bit more than the others. Like it's a, it's more of the standout. Like it's a little bit of a ginger fruit, but it's very good. It's a, it's an excellent tropical flavor.
This makes me want to put some chocolate, some dark chocolate in here and make like a mountains bar or something like that, but like a high-end one from like a company that uses like organic, you know, hand-peeled fucking coconut, you know? Yeah. Have you tried that chocolate Deutsch yet? No. What you could do is you could sub out the regular coconut for that with the chocolate Deutsch. You might be running straight out of mounds bar. Yeah. Yeah. I, uh, I've started to separate flavors that I know I like. Yeah. And then I have my adventurous flavors separated and I can sort of go back and forth. Yeah. What mod am I using? I am using the US1 mechanical mod with the US1 Addy on top. I'm using the Minikin V2, the Adora Purple Minikin V2 with the Dead Rabbit. The Guana the Guanabana stew is the banana, the banana note, the banana mouthfeel of it is more prominent. Like I said, they're very similar flavors. They're very close. But one the soursop, the berry comes out a little bit more. And the guanabana, the banana, the banana flavor slash mouthfeel that comes out a little bit more if that makes sense it's very good amy wants you amy wants a cereal brian actually amy if you talk to fresh if you come on down after the show to the kitchen uh fresh has promised that if i send him the cereal that you like he's going to try to make as close to possible as he can but i do have a cereal that i made a couple three weeks ago and i'll be right back let me grab it Okay. I'll tell you guys what the recipe is. What else do we got, everybody? Good way to be, Mark. It's a good way to be. Then they should call it Guana Banana. It's close. It's close, Niji. Remember Niji Friday. There's a, there's no escaping Niji. There's no escaping. Uh, da, 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 da. Everybody's saying hello to Niji. Niji. Niji had a new video. You guys can check it out if you haven't seen it yet. <clears throat> for anybody that's interested also, the US one, uh, I have a review that's already filmed and scheduled for Wednesday, so. Nice. I just released a, uh, I just released the review for the Aura. The Aura RDA. From DJ. Yes. Excellent RDA, especially on a squonk setup. Hmm. I'm going to drip this. This cereal is actually really tasty fresh. Hold the nice. phone. Hold the phone. Did Amy just really say, he's my bitch? Yes. <laughs> In chat. Yes. <laughs> She's fucking crazy, man. I was taking vape model pictures of her in the backyard before the show tonight. Oh, the... Yeah, that's fucking really, delicious. I don't really have the cleavage for it, but... Vape model time. It's more like you have a really thin and girth lacking penis that's coming up between your titties. I would love to have a chin rest dick. You know what I'm talking about, Fresh? You can just Where put you it just, there? Yeah. Like, I got bad posture, but I'm, it's okay because I'm just resting my chin on my dick. That's right. I'd be, I'd be worried about, I'd be worried about the, the uh, blood flow to the rest of your body if you got an erection, though. That's just, that's just the medical portion of me coming out. Sure, you don't want to get, you don't want to have a stint put in your schlong, if you know what I'm saying. <laughs> yeah, it's like, it's like, dude, is is Brian okay? He hasn't said anything in a while, and he's just kind of sitting there with a dazed look on his face. But he's, I mean, he looks pretty happy. So should we bug him? <laughs> I'd have to take Viagra for a four-hour plane ride just so I could relax. <laughs> <laughs> uh. All right, well, uh, let, beware, me, let me tell you guys what's the blood pressure, everybody. Beware of the drops in blood pressure. Let me save this recipe. And I can't stress Fair enough, enough guys, if you're new to this show, if this is a little over the top, if you're not comfortable with eye contact yet, it's okay. I don't think anybody that watches the show is comfortable with the eye contact. Uh, 
Also, check out Fresh from the Kitchen on Facebook. We have a private Facebook group that you can join. Uh, all your information can be answered there from lots of experienced members that are watching the show right now. Uh, you can also start at Lesson 1 and work your way up and learn with us. Learn with me, really, because I, uh, I started DIY on Lesson 1, and here yep. we are at Lesson 30, and I'm making mixes that vape fucking awesome. So you can there do you it, go. too. Just, just try. That's it. Just That's try. Well, yep, there is no try. Only, only do. The only do, fresh. All right, so this recipe is saved, but I'm not going to make the coconut pr uh, public because it's only four flavors and it's not very uh, worked out yet. I need to work it out more. Um, as far as the cereal recipe that I will recommend because it's delicious, uh, let's go to my recipes and let's go to... Doo -doo -doo -doo. Here we go. I called it Loop Fruits Elite. And Loop Fruits Elite? Nice. It's actually not my recipe this is a an adapted recipe and um there's a link in the recipe for who actually created it so i like to give shout outs and credit where credit is due hell yeah so let's edit this doom 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 edit public but this is a really complex recipe it's got a lot of different flavors in it but it does take about two to three weeks to steep I will say that it's definitely not shaken vape material. <laughs> trying on all my different stuff, seeing seeing if I can find a look that I I enjoy, Ryan. Could you imagine trying to explain to a police officer the guy that raped you? <laughs> <laughs> Cross it. It was it was Deadpool, but he had Do he had Dobie the house elf ears. It was bizarre. <laughs> it was bizarre, and he was wearing some sort of a butcher fucking. <laughs> Butcher apron with fresh O3 on it. Yeah, the, I'm pretty sure his name said. I'm pretty sure his name tape said his his name was Inigo Montoya. Yeah, some sort of Princess Bride reference was on his shirt. I don't know if it was personal or not. <laughs> uh, I will put a link in chat. I'm saving right now, and mine should be saved now too, so I can sour sop you. Yeah, the flavors that are a little bit out of the ordinary in here are, um, let's see, well, vanilla shish is pretty common these days. This recipe is a copy of, you know what, I want to put the original recipe from the original creator. So here we go. Copy and paste. There's mine. And here is this, and we are, boom, right there. And the guy's name is the... It's called the Fourth Horseman from Chef John, and I know he's really popular on yeah, uh, Chef John. ELR. But when I saw yeah. it, uh, it's acetyl pyrazine, Bavarian cream, bergamot, or bergamot. Is that bergamot? Bergamot. Yeah, bergamot. Uh, brother of uh, Lord Voldermott. Yes. Uh, cream fresh, fruit circles, fruit rings, fruity flakes, lemon meringue pie, oba oba, sweet cream, vanilla shisha, and Vienna cream all make this cereal. It's a good choice. Yummy. I like what he did because he used some of the, the shitty cereal flavors like fruit rings and fruit circles and fruity flakes. But he, yes. I think he realized like what was missing from those flavors and then he t totally layered a whole bunch of other stuff on there to sort of keep what was good with them and cover up the bad. And it really works. Yeah. Very, Chef very John's tasty. a hell of a mixer. I've been on his, uh, I've been on his uh, podcast before. Did I tape that? <clears throat> this was made on 7-31-17. So this is about two weeks old. And it's vapable today. So about two weeks. And I'll have Amy come try it and see if she likes it. She won't, though. She'll put it in there in her tank, vape half a tank, and then say, I like my cereal. Yeah. If anyone's interested in my wife's favorite cereal, it is uh, quitthatgrit.com cereal craving. With that grit.com cereal craving. Yeah, she goes through like 480 mils like a month. <laughs> Just ripping through it. Two, no, two, two, two and a half years fresh, she's been vaping the same flavor. I shit you not. I mean, when you find something you like. That's like a, what's the, the engineer's guide to cats? Like cats, cats and engineers are kind of the same. Kind of the same because they enjoy, they both enjoy uh, the same things over and over again. 
I like the same things over and over again. I like eating, sleeping, and fucking. <laughs> I think that's a fair combination. I think pretty much a lot of people enjoy that combination. Anything else fresh? Uh, I was trying to paste the link to my Aurora review out here if anybody wanted to see it, but it's not letting me. Oh, well. I don't know. I don't know. Hmm. Do you want me to try to see if I can do it? I'll do it. Hold on. It's kind of my my video of the week. Plus, there was the video of me earlier in the week beating the shit out of the Aegis mod. And I did the dead rabbit. I was busy. You were busy as hell. Yeah. Had a Fresh good time. Three, Fresh 03 YouTube. I keep him around and he doesn't mix it up too much. Thank you, honey. Can somebody ban her, please? Thank you. Uh, I think I've got a wrench. Uh, she is listed as unbannable. Unbannable. My bad, Brian. How are we doing, everybody? That's bullshit. <laughs> fucking... I don't trust that for a minute. You just know her wrath. Alright, so I just put your link in chat and... Did it let me? Yeah, there we go. Perfect. Thank you, Brian. Oh, that was my actual review of the aura. Sorry. No, I'm, I'm, I'm totally kidding. I'm totally kidding. <laughs> Dickhead, we're on your fucking channel. For squonking, yeah. Gimlin, uh, you would like the aura. I think the aura is a little bit better at squonking than the dead rabbit is. I think just the I think just the way just the way it's engineered, it's it's a it's it's almost specifically designed for squonking. It's it's wonderful though. It's a wonderful squonk. The dead rabbit's the dead rabbit's a monster though. That's a monster of an RDA. This is for Stan. What's you up, come? Stan? What's up, bro? I call this bi contact. <laughs> Not because we're bi, but because we're saying goodbye. That's a bi contact. I like that. <sighs> yeah. Amy, are you uncomfortable? This is your husband. You said I do too. <laughs> Glove fetish lately. There we go. Much love, everyone. Anybody have any uh, issues or anything? Join us on the uh, chat on Fresh from the Kitchen Facebook group. Yeah. Swim. And uh, that's it. Anything fresh? Uh, anything? I'm looking forward to more sour, sour, soppy seconds. No doubt about it. Uh, by the way, I wanted to announce, next week, we will not have a show. I'm sorry, it's going to be two weeks from today. Fresh will probably have a show on his channel. I will if do I'm, something. Fresh will do something, whether it's pre-recorded or live, but he will be doing something. Uh, I'm leaving to go to Miami. Have and fun. Uh, Yeah. So it should be awesome. But you know how I get... I, you guys know I get triggered pretty easily, so the last thing I need to do is be running from a trip to work to the show. It's too much. Um, yeah. I'm going to be really busy before and after. So, yeah, you guys all have a week to, to cool off and refill your, uh, your your energy. And then I'll see you guys again. And Fresh will he'll manhandle the shit out of you by himself. That's right. Yeah, I will. Pin, so. you, pin, you, pin you to the ground. Yep. You're like, how, how, did the, how did that five foot four man do that to me? I just do things like that. Don't you worry about how it happened. Yep. And uh, no means yes. That's all I have to say. We'll see you next week, guys. Love you. Love you. Bye. billion reasons to fight for vape. There's still a billion people out there smoking. The gums didn't help me quit, 
The pills didn't help me quit. Patches didn't help me quit. Lozenges didn't help me quit. Sigalikes didn't help me quit. Family pressure didn't help me quit. Embarrassment didn't help me quit. Health problems didn't help me quit. Societal pressure, the financial costs, none of them helped me quit smoking. The only thing that worked for me was vaping. Say goodbye, Freshie. Bye, Freshie.